Good morning, brethren. I want to talk today about something that affects all of us. And we have to, to constantly guard ourselves against emotions, wrath, and anger, having haughty eyes and lying tongue. Now, as you well know, if you are a convert, that God is working within us a work. If you have been baptized, you have God's Holy Spirit. And God is working within us a work. And He is perfecting us. And to develop the character that pleases Him for a future resurrection in the first fruits resurrection. And we are to be like living epistles. An epistle is a letter with writing on it. And that writing talks about different stuff. It shows what's in the letter. Our character should emulate the character of Christ. Well, that's not done overnight. That's why we are on a journey. It's called a conversion process. And we are supposed to be living epistles and should care what God thinks about the thoughts, actions, and how we communicate with others. Getting to know him or her is best. Because sometimes we can misconstrue uh, actions. After all, those who claim to be living epistles of God and Jesus Christ should look at the whole person, the inside, see others how God sees them. Hear the whole story. Not quick to condemn, because there are two sides to every story. People should not assume something or convict a person without getting the facts. I have expressed that in before, not too long ago, on social media. Uh, brethren, you know, words can ruin a person's reputation. And there are consequences under man's laws in court that can be expensive for the offenders if not settled outside the legal system. Now Paul tells us that we should settle our matters inside the church amongst ourselves without taking it to us to outside source those outside the church, outside the believers, in man's court. But sometimes it's necessary. An attribute of having God's spirit, brethren, is looking at others with empathy, sympathy, understanding, using discerning godly attributes, not being quick to condemn, but whether being quick to listen, not speak, understand, get the facts, and not paying any attention to the spreading of rumors, gossip, unindos, slanderous, and defamatory, defamatory, I'm sorry, false alleg accusations. Now, I'm not saying that has happened to anyone. I'm just making a general statement and stating a fact of life. Of course, I'll take that back. It has happened to me in the past several different times. God talks about the seven main wrongs committed by humans that he hates the most, and two of them is arrogance and spreading rumors, bearing false witness, against your neighbor, our neighbor. Bearing false witness against a brother. 
Proverbs 6, 6.15 says, Therefore his calamity will come suddenly. Instantly he will be broken. and There will be no healing. There are six things which the Lord hates, yes, seven which are an abomination to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. I just listened to a few, but you can go read it for yourself. Proverbs 6, 15. Remember, brother, the Holy Spirit is the power of God in a believer's life. And that over time grows within him or her to overcome such human frailties. The tongue is hard to tame. But remember, with God's Spirit, and over time, it can be tamed. As you well know, brethren, in this life, we will have trials and tribulations. Matthew chapter 24. Before the kingdom of God will be established at the return of Christ. And I know that there are those who have had, who have bad attitudes about life, in general. But why do they have it? Humans have a hard time understanding or want to understand what kind of walking others have been down in his or her life. In other words, walk in their shoes. But especially in the church that claims to be the church of God, the godly attributes listed herein should be attained. <coughs> Excuse me. Especially by those who have been appointed as leaders in the church. Galatians chapter 5 tells us the fruits of God's Spirit. And the godly attributes listed here should be attained especially by those who have been appointed as leaders in the church. But all brethren should watch their haughtiness and their mouth. Everything that we have, brethren, comes from God. There's nothing that we have received that did not come from God. Even our eternal life that God offers us comes from God. God gives a gift of righteousness to us in future through Christ, because of Christ. That's a gift, something we can't earn. And I always try to remember, no one is perfect. We are human and subject to human imperfections. Why? Because of our physical limitations and the carnal mind, which is in us, the law of sin and death, which is passed down to us from Adam because of Adam's sin. The law of sin and death, i.e., our human nature. So, brethren, in closing in this short little message today, let's remember where we come from so we can be humble. But let's remember where we're going. Let's stay focused on the future and the coming kingdom of God. And our part in it, in the future, in the first resurrection. And let's keep focused also on our mouth. And not judging others and coming to quick judgments before checking the facts out. That's part of not being too haughty. It's checking the facts out. So, brethren, have a good day, and thank you for listening. Bye-bye.